you told me yesterday that you brought in some of your tape from your college playing days to show to the guys. Is that right? Well, you know, you sit there sometimes and you like, well, you should have did this, you should have did that. You know what I mean? Uh, this is the way you should go about it. And, um, you know, it's a lot easier when they can see you do it. Uh, so, you know, that talk was going on amongst the room. And, so I had to get something sent in just so they could know, you know, I held my own. <laughs> did, you feel, yeah, did you feel you had something to prove, Coach, was, or was it just more more or less for some good laughs? No, nah, good laughs. I mean, really at the end of the day, you know, when you, when you when you're coaching, you know you know the guys, they want some structure, they want discipline, you know what I mean, they want the truth. And, um, I mean, when, you, when they know that you're giving them that, I mean, you don't have to really prove nothing. You just every day be consistent to help them guys get better. Have you been pleased with your transition to in, into your new role here at WVU over the last several months? I haven't even thought about it. Okay. Um, when you, I, I, knowing that you coached at both levels, you've coached in high school, you've coached some Division One. Is there how, how much how much different is it to coach at this level than, than some of the other stops that you've made? Uh, at, at the end of the day, it's football. You know what I mean. You can get it. You know, like I tell you know a lot of people. You know, coaching high school, college, or at, or in the NFL is the same. Just de dealing with different circumstances, which. At the end of the day, they all are the same, but the, the magnitude of TV, media, and everything else makes it a little bit bigger than what it is, but it's football at the end of the day. Right. Yes, I think, you know. What was your go to highlight when you, when you put on the tape, man? You had, you had to have a, a, a run or a throw you really liked, right? There was quite a few of them, so I just let it play. <laughs> About five minutes, the extended reel? Yeah, about that. Yeah, uh, it, it was interesting, uh, you know, just to see how they responded to it. I mean, it's old tape. It had to get transferred from VHS to DVD, then put on the system. So it was a, a lot of in between things going on there. But uh, for the most part, it was a good laugh, and uh, you know. Anybody else for Coach Tall? That's some street cred, though, right? I guess, a little bit. You know. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, I just want them guys to protect the football, protect them seven, all right, and, and, and run the ball like they should. <laughs> Got you, man. I always hear that when coaches come in, they talk about wiping the slate clean. At the same time, you want to see what guys do. Like, so I know you dug into cut, cut ups of these guys and what they did last year, but how much of that did you put in your reservoir and how much did you really approach them with like, hey, it's completely new? I think for me to look at the tape was to see what kind of style of player they were. Um, but, you know, everything that happened before me wasn't on my clock, so I couldn't really come in and I would hold them accountable for when I walked in day one to the things that happened while I was here and as we continue to go in. And all those guys have done a great job as far as, you know, being disciplined, um, being accountable, you know what I mean, and competing, you know, and if you got that, uh, we got four guys in there uh, that, that does all those deals. And, uh, you know, I appreciate them guys for coming every day and doing that.